This is just for the cool kids, you know what I mean? The cool people. Bro, it's 9 a.m. here. What's good? Damn. All right. A little overseas. I feel like this is not what you want. This is what you want to end the day off. Starting the day off with these vibes, just like, you're just going to fucking sleep all day, bro. Then again, it is Friday. TGIF to all my fucking overseas people. Don't worry about it. Finally got the video all finished up today. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but it's all done. Which is exciting, so that's going to come out tomorrow. Which is fucking sick. East Coast 4am gang. Damn. I was just thinking you were about to stream. What the fuck? That's crazy, Squid. How did you know, man? How did you know? You fuck with ones? Jordan ones are pretty cool. I just got really skinny ankles, so I can't fucking rock a lot of high tops. Like, they look kind of goofy. Like, fours kind of look okay because they don't have, like, a really fat, like, leg opening. But fives, sixes. No, nah, sixes are alright. Sixes and sevens are okay, but ones and fives I just cannot wear. Like, it just looks goofy as fuck. <laughs> like, the tongue is so the much Pope fatter than my awesome. ankle, it's like, bruh. It just looks stupid. Um, the Pope is back. Yo, Pope Francis, the Pope Francis, what's up, man? Appreciate you for being here. Coming in with three Washington, thanks for the one. He said, I'm not asleep, Eric. Making chicken nuggets. Dino nuggets? Question mark? Yo, do you yeah. fuck with Kayla Extract? I do fuck with Caleb. I've only had him once. Uh, when I moved out to LA, they said they got me on a nice little care package, which is cool. So shout out to them. I'll uh, let you know about that shit, man. I will let you know about that shit. Vegas? What about Las Vegas? Homie said Las Vegas. Vegas gang? A couple of Vegas gangs in here, bro. Let's fucking go, man. Vegas never sleeps, so that makes sense. It's like... Actually, it's not even that late in Vegas. It's like, what, 2 a.m. in Vegas? Maybe 1? It's like 1 a.m. in Vegas, bro. We're not even that fucking late. You guys are chilling. I guess West Coast is not that late, huh? Feels weird, man. I did one of those, like, go to sleep at 10, wake up at 2 kind of things. That's what just happened, so. Now I have, like, this weird time where I think it's, like, super late, but it's not. Romeo, what the fuck are you doing up, man? You crazy bastard. Ohio gang, let's go. That's sick, man. Glad you're streaming, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for being here. Arizona. Lowe's are where it's at. Like, Lowe's the department store. Or are you talking about, like, or I guess Lowe's isn't a department store. It's a hardware store. Department stores like Macy's, right? <laughs> Macy's got the fucking gas, bro. Macy's. Let's see what's good right here. Um, meat locker. We got a little meat locker to smoke right now. A big fat dab of hash rolls in. Oh, it's meaty. It's very motherfucking meaty, man. Kind of want to go with some GMO, you know? I slept for six hours, so I'm up. True, bro. Damn, you're up for the rest of the day? One was Alien Labs and Kale Cold Pink, like seven hundred seventy dollars. So worth though. Seven grams from them. One was Alien Labs and Kayla Labs. Seven seventy. Paid seven seventy for seven grams of hash rod. Sounds about right. Fucking maniac. God damn, that's a fucking lot of money. I like that, dude. Almost a stack. On some smoke. That's a flex, brother. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're a crazy guy. Uh, 3 a.m. here in Chicago. Brand of edibles you can recommend? I don't know, man. I've never been to Illinois. I don't know what kind of edibles you got over there. But Wild Extra or Wild W Y L D is always dope as fuck. I like them. The Keith Colas or whatever those are always dope. Um, there's one fucking drink that's available in Colorado that's super dope. That has the gas all the time, man. The day was pretty good today. Dash. The day was pretty goddamn good, man. How was your day today? A dash, my motherfucking guy. Just rolled a nice little can of bar, then you stream. I can't beat the vibe. Well, I hope you're having a good night. A can of bar, huh? This late at night. A little money bag spinner. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Just got the nosy. The can of bar, huh? Good shit, man. That's exactly what I like to hear, Chris. Mafia. <coughs> we down bad in Japan. I just dropped four hundred dollars on an eighth of mid frown. <coughs> Yo, you had to add in an extra O to that. You meant $40, right? You spent $40 on an eighth of mid. There's no way. <coughs> he said we down bad in Japan. Yeah, you're tweaking, bro. You definitely added another zero on there. But 40 for an eighth of mid? Damn, bro. Where do you smoke in Japan? I heard you get like fucking extradited like immediately if you smoke any weed. 
It's like, oh, you smoke weed? Get out of the country. And they fucking kick your ass out immediately, dude. <clears throat> Japan has no tolerance when it comes to marijuana. You might even get fucking tossed in jail. But I think they'll just, like, deport your ass if you're a foreigner. If you're a Japanese-born citizen smoking weed, I don't even want to know what happens to you. You get sent to the Yakuza and shit. I'm not <clears throat> big into beer, but you gotta try 450 North Brewery gases. Ah, I like them, man. I got a, I got a couple 450s. Look, we got a 450 right here that I drank the other day. This one was delicious. Hey, uh, peach gummy rings. Someone designed like a disposable bowl slash rig. Do you think it would ever be worth it? A disposable bowl slash rig? Um, perhaps. So, uh, Attila, that motherfucker from Cubis, has like the biggest brain I've ever seen on a motherfucker, bro. He like, he's always innovating, coming up with different things. So he wants to come out with um, disposable dabbers and disposable fucking um, bowls, which I think would be kind of sick, like one-off bowls. But it'd just be have to like, like selling them in the dispensaries. Like imagine selling like just a bowl, <laughs> like a gram bowl, just a fucking fatty. Just like for like 15 bucks at the dispo. That's pretty cool. People will buy it probably. I don't know. Let's <clears throat> see though. I, uh, I told him, I was like, well, people are lazy. So like I could see the, the use of having a disposable. Just like snap it, throw it away. But like that's crazy. <laughs> that's some big baller shit right there, bro. Just buying a whole bowl. Be like, yeah, let me throw this bowl away after. Pretty crazy. New vid win. I finished it today, thankfully. We got the car back today. Or I didn't get the car back. The wheels and tires are on the it's car, right, which look good. And um, we got it um, dropped off to get the alignment. So honestly, hopefully, you guys know how long alignments take. The shop did. The shop said they weren't too busy. So hopefully they can get it done today or Friday. You know what I mean? <coughs> I'd be sick if I can get my fucking car back by the end of the day. I'd be hyped. <coughs> I would be down, man. Alignments can't take too long, right? Even if it's like a little control arm bend, like just put it back into place real quick. My Hopefully we'll be all right. A day, I'm quick so as fuck. It'll take more than two hours long. labor. Nice, two hours labor, good shit. Two people saying that. Owen, I like that. Ross and Owen, I feel like you guys know what you're talking about, so good shit. My sister's finally coming home Saturday. I'm so hyped, wish my tolerance luck. Dude, that's awesome, congrats, man. I didn't grow up with siblings. Like I was an only child for a while. Now I have little brothers and shit, which is cool. I've had little brothers for like five, six years or something like that, Whoever, whatever the oldest one is. But like, dude, there was a fat minute where I was just, I didn't have any siblings and shit. So like, it was pretty rough, man. All my homies looked like they were having it. See, I always had homies who were told and telling me like, yo, you're so lucky you don't have siblings. Like that's dope as fuck. And then I had homies who were like, dude, you don't have siblings? Like that kind of sucks. And I was like, yeah, it kind of does suck. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but at the same time, it's kind of cool. It's whatever. <clears throat> Any only children in the motherfucking chat? What's good, bro? I feel like that's a rare thing. Like, I did not have many friends growing up that were only children. Like, I was, like, one of the few only ones that did not have a brother or sister. Every single other homie that I knew did. That's because I lived in, like, the fucking suburbs, I guess. <laughs> I went to school in the suburbs, bro. Everyone's got a nice nuclear family. They got a pool in the backyard, a fucking dog. Two loving parents. It's, it's a crazy time out there, bro. <laughs> on the real, you need to, let's see, make like a dabber on a cart battery. What's that like crazy? A dabber on a bottom of a cart, huh? It's very interesting. I've seen a battery recently that has a stylus on the bottom so you can like use your phone with it. Pretty interesting stuff. Do you have to be <clears throat> body Mustangs? I'm saving up for one. What? I'm a suburban, bro. Dude, you say? Damn near. <laughs> I'm a suburb, dude. <laughs> that Kodak video is so funny, dude. <clears throat> I'm a suburban. Good shit right there, fellas. Let's roll up a nice little something, shall we? You fuck with Fox Body Mustangs. I'm saving up for one. I just don't fuck with ponies. I fucking hate V6 Mustangs. EcoBoost Mustangs are even more disgusting. But like a nice GT, bro, you can't hate on like an American Muscle V8. It's like whatever, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're kind of built like shit in my opinion, but at least you got a nice engine in there. Ford knows how to at least make some like reliable cars for the most part. It's not gonna explode on you be in the sh shop most of the time like it's a chill little mustangs are kind of chill man <clears throat> mustangs are kind of chill especially those like special version mustangs that come out like the shelby's and fucking all those other ones are sick as fuck <clears throat> 80 a gram and you get shorted they try to give my friend five years in jail for a gram we were freshmen damn wait what that's fucked, man. It sounds like some southern laws or the Midwest or something Wanna like that to me. It's gonna be 420 on the East Coast in a couple minutes. Oh shit, four minutes till 420 on the East Coast. 
Where the fuck is my butt at? There we go. Let's get this shit grinded up and see if we can spark up by 420. We're gonna stuff a cone, so I don't think it should be too difficult. <clears throat> should be quite easy, actually. What the fuck? I can't even see. Toss those back in there. That should be enough. Should be enough, man. Wanna take a dab with me? I did just take a dab at Alex the Asian, but just because you're a fellow Asian, I got you. Bro. Like a coil, you screw onto the battery, then like they have a strong plastic straw, and you use it like a nectar collector. Oh, a nectar collector. <laughs> Forgot a T there, brother. But uh, yeah, man, damn near. Maybe should try out a little something like that. I think that exists, if I'm not mistaken. That's gotta exist somewhere. <clears throat> it's gotta exist somewhere. But I just don't know where, man. Uh, uh, uh. I work right now just listening to your vids making time go by fast. Hey, shout out to you, man. At least Mustang drivers aren't Mopar drivers. Ugh. <laughs> I'll always respect the Mustang drivers. <clears throat> Over, uh, what's up? Actually, I don't know. Mustang drivers are always the ones that are crashing and shit at the car meets. It's pretty jokes. Um, opinion on detox drinks? Shout out to, uh, I don't know. They were, I've never used them personally before, so I can't vouch, but my guy Kai always used to fucking use those, bro. That guy would be on probation smoking fucking gas. Like, dude, half the videos that I have on my channel, I'd say Kai's on probation. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait, never mind. Just kidding. I'm not trying to snitch on anybody. That's totally cap. Hey, I'm capping. I'm capping for the gram right now, bro. I'm totally capping for the gram right now. I'm lying. It's not true. That's not true. But uh, yeah, that motherfucker asked that guy. He'll swear by that shit, bro. <clears throat> I saw it work firsthand for him because we would smoke a ridiculous amount. And he'd be like, yeah, I got a drug test in the morning. He'd be like, what? He'd be like, yeah, bro, I'm just drink this drink and I'll be all right. I'd be like, what the fuck, homie? Like, you're crazy, Kai. Like, I don't know. Playing with your freedom type shit, you know? <clears throat> I don't know if I would do that. But, whatever. Kai's a legend. Kai's a goddamn legend. Where the fuck did that stick go that I just had? There we go. Good shit. Say, uh, say you're capping. I am capping, bro. 100% just capping on the gram. My bad, boys. <clears throat> Eric, I can picture you in a 2021 McLaren 720s. The 720s, bro. Fucking wish. I'd be coming everywhere. Clarens are dope, man. Clarens are dope as a motherfucker. But I just don't know about their reliability, huh? What do you guys know about British car reliability? I'm not the biggest fan. Jaguar and such. I'd say there's could be a. There's a lot better. A lot better out there, especially for the price. Actually, I don't know. McLarens depreciate like a motherfucker. You can get some nice 570s for like 130 right now, 120, maybe even. Shit goes crazy. There's some uh, some snags on Clarens going on right now. I think I'd rather cop a Lamb though, personally. If I had the money to get one, you know. If I was in the market, dude, this loader thing. I don't know. I don't know about this loader thing. I think I'm just using it wrong. Not the biggest fan of it. <clears throat> I just gotta get better at it. I gotta watch a video of the man himself doing it. Then we'll be alright. We got one more minute till 420. Hang on, hang on. We got a little bit of time in this bitch. Damn, this joint really is like a point fiver. <laughs> That's a cute little bastard. A cute little bastard. <clears throat> Thoughts on weed being addictive? Maybe... There's certain things about you it that can be addictive. Some silver, bars, it's gonna go up. some silver bars, bro. I cop some silver shares. Or some, like, trust shares or whatever the fuck. Some ETFs of silvers. But, uh, whatever. Silver index funds or whatever. Yeah, I need to cop physical silver. You're goddamn right. Because the great incoming economic reset is gonna be crazy, man. It might just fuck us all up. Um, uh, especially... Dude, I'm moving to LA, so fuck. If some crazy shit happens... Some, some crazy economic shit. I'm definitely gonna have to not live there. <laughs> I'm definitely moving the fuck out of there. Fuck that. <clears throat> I'm leaving that bitch. Yeah, bro. 
in a Great Depression or something, bro, I'm not gonna be Did in you California. You got me Governor fucked up. The mask I'm, living, I'm leaving. I'm going to like the Midwest where rent is like 500 bucks, maybe even cheaper because of the depression shit. But uh, let's hope that it doesn't happen. Uh, it's gonna happen in the next like couple of years for sure. I'm gonna be literally in Los Angeles, like spending more money than I've ever spent. It's gonna be boom. Money's all fucked. But anyway, I yeah, miss 420. Fuck! Damn, I literally had the joint ready by 420 and I just fucking talked. That's some that's some me shit, bro. To just like actually make it in time and then some bullshit happens. It's like what always happens to me at the airport. It's like I make it in time and there's one little like caveat that delays me like five minutes and then I miss the flight and it's like bruh. <coughs> like I was here. <coughs> that's bullshit. <coughs> I did hear about that Texas governor shit, man. Greg Abbott, I think is his name if or something. If fun was legal and then why would you move there? If Bud was legal in New York, would you move there? Um, New York is probably the only place in the fucking country that's more expensive than the place that I'm moving to. So I don't think so, man. I think I'm good on that. I do want to experience the city life for just like maybe a few like months or like, I don't know, I don't want to say a year. That's a lot. Maybe like a six month little staycation, you know what I mean? Especially if weed does become legal, that would be sick. I feel like we could just light up like plays left and right. So it'd be worth it for me to stay there, you know? That would be dope as fuck. That would be super chill, man. Uh, someone said new baby Keem in the chat. You know, I'm always down for the new baby Keem. Uh, 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 new Drake, too. No cap. <clears throat> Don't cap on me right now. Element, thanks for the one. New York would be crazy lit, though. You need to cop some silver. It's going to be on the up and up. Element, thanks for the kind words and the uh, recommendations. One zero. Thanks for coming in with the motherfucking uh, one. Appreciate you. No sense. New Drake and new baby Keem. Oh, man, I was like, hell yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got that. I was 80 bucks. Hey, took like, feeling proud of myself. I took like I an hour. No, it took like 30 minutes. Like Maybe? I don't know. It was chill. But then, Getting my driver I got these one two one flowers right here. Oh, this one luck. and this one. And then I got those non shaded. They were just like outlines. And that was 200 bucks. So these two things were on my arm and then this. And then I got this for another 200 bucks. <clears throat> and then I got these shaded. And then this finished for like a finishing 100. So I think all in all, what is that? We'll just round that out to 100, 300, 500, 7. It's like 700 about, 750 we'll say. We'll say like 800 with the tip, maybe. <clears throat> Something like that. Yeah, it was like four different sessions. It was like four different sessions at like 150 to 200 each. So like 750 or something like that for the arm, which is pretty chill. Uh, what are good tattoo ideas? You can't just be putting random shit on your body, man. You can't be asking random people in an internet chat. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to do, like, fuck it. I'm not your fucking daddy. I honestly don't think tattoos got to have any meaning behind them. But I will say that it's a lot easier to not regret the tattoo in like 30 years well who am i to say i don't fucking know but i would think at least that like i'm not gonna not like any of these tattoos because you know they're my fucking they mean a lot of shit to me you know they all have a little story behind them or like whatever yada 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 so like it'll it'll still mean a lot to me hopefully in these coming years but sometimes you just get some bullshit on you and you're like you ever see a motherfucker get a tattoo and you're like damn like, I'm not a hater or anything, but what the f Like, why would you do that? <laughs> like, that's on you forever. Like, don't you want, like, you know what I mean? I was like, come on, bro. Like, damn. That's crazy. Beat the Supreme Bots and cop the Blue Dunks. Damn, I completely forgot that shit was happening this morning. Whoopsies. Shout out to all the people that got that shit, man. <clears throat> New ink at one milli. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know what I'm going to get at. Uh, I don't know. I've had these tats for like a year or two now i haven't gotten anything new in a fat minute i don't think i am i kind of want to get a risky one like one that creeps onto my hand or something just as like a statement that i'm not gonna have like an actual motherfucking job or i know like i'm not going to like in my mind i'm like fuck it i'm fucking myself you know what i mean i'm like fuck a regular job or actually nah i feel like that's a bad idea <laughs> what's the point of getting my degree then i'm doing that no nah, i don't know i just feel like that's just not for me I've already kind of made the, like, the statement thing in my mind that that's not going to happen, you know? 
There's no way I'm applying for a regular job now. But I mean, like, hey, you know, fucking Great Depression shit, you know what I mean? Who knows what's gonna happen in the coming years? What if the US dollar goes to shit? What if I go broke? What if I need a job? You never know about these what ifs, man. What if I get canceled tomorrow? I've been sad <laughs> AF recently. Dude, need I'm no trying help. to think. Got any real advice? Um, I've been sad as fuck recently. We don't help. Got any uh, advice? You just need to find some shit that fulfills you, man. I know it sounds fucking stupid, but like, pick up a new hobby, pick up a new like little activity, pick up a new something that you can like develop a skill at, so you can like see yourself become better at. Maybe pick up like running. That's free. You don't have to pick up something that costs money because a lot of hobbies are fucking expensive. To be honest with you, pick up um, I don't know. Pick up something that's like. Not like a substance, you know, you said weed doesn't help, weed doesn't always help the sadness, it kind of masks it, but like, just find something that's like, I don't know, video editing is like the, well, my thing that I found that I was like pretty good at, or like talking to a camera, I was like, damn, this shit's pretty dope, like I enjoy it, it's pretty sick, um, I don't know, everyone's got a skill or a talent out there that you could fester, develop, or if you don't have one, you could create one, who said that you're fucking limited to like what the things you know now are the whole point of life is to grow and develop and build new things and i feel like a big reason that people get sad is because they feel like they're like stagnating they're not like doing anything they're just like doing the same fucking thing every day and i've definitely been there where it's just like dude i'm not like progressing i'm not like doing anything it's like playing an rpg and you're just sitting there like not doing any side quests or anything you're just like wandering around you're like what the fuck's the point so that's why you gotta like you know, you gotta fucking do something. I don't know, you can pick up a digital talent. That's gonna be fucking worth a lot of money. Learn to code. Learn to, uh... Learn to... I don't know. Photoshop. Learn to, uh, you know... Have you, are you creative? What side of your brain works? Are you analytical? You could probably do some fucking numbers for some people. Do some... I don't know. You can get some... You can get good at some shit. You know what I mean? Life's about... Getting better, brother. I oh, just gotta get better at some things. Find something to get good at. <clears throat> Learn to code. There you go. <clears throat> good stuff. Ooh. Or at the very least, if you don't want to even like start there, because I feel like that's a lot. Like, hey, bro, you're sad get a new skill it's like whoa <laughs> you motherfucker like yeah, let's calm down a little bit i'd say like just to get the fuck out of bed sometimes just like i don't know like make yourself look forward to something man. that doesn't have to be big like i don't know get a new shampoo like i don't know get some new smell and shit get a new cologne you're like yo i want to fucking like smell good today or like yo i want to fucking i don't know get something new to your car or get something like uh I don't know. It's like a short-term happiness. I'm not saying to buy something, but retail therapy is like a real thing. You know what I mean? Maybe uh, buy something. I don't know. I don't know, bro. You just gotta... Yeah, there's definitely some times where you just wake up and you're like, yeah, fuck getting out of bed. So I'm trying to think of like, what really, really makes you like get out of bed. It's honestly like, dude, I guess it's different for everybody. Mine's just like grinding though like moolah I'm trying to put on for like my fam and shit you know what i mean i'm trying to buy my mom a house like i wake up every day and i'm like oh time to fucking get this house for my mom you know what i mean like i feel like you gotta have a goal or something to wake up to every day you just work a little bit towards every day and you're like yeah when things get tough you know visions get a little blurry your future's a little bit scattered you're like what the fuck am i doing it's always like a good you always gotta have like a big goal to like reshift on, you know what I mean? Like shake off all the bullshit, refocus. I definitely reload. second that. When you're in a funk, it's easy to forget about the little things. Go take a shower, clean your room, you will feel way better. Easier yeah. said than done. But I hope all of you are doing good. Clean your room, man, that's a good one. Fucking pick up some little L's that are free, man. I feel like going on for a run, bro. You ever get a runner's high? There's like I don't know what science there is behind a runner's high, but like, I'll go for a fat, like, little run. If that doesn't make sense, a fat little run, you know what I mean? A little oxymoron right there, but I'll go for a run and just feel like, woo! 
Like, you'll just have that fat smile on your face after, and you're like, God damn, I just feel like I injected some heroin or some shit. You're like, woof. Like, the sun's on your fucking skin and shit. You're like, all sweaty, and you're like, wow. I feel like I could just fucking lift up the world. Hey Eric, bro. I just wanted like, to say I'm going to bed, but I hope you have a great rest of your night. <clears throat> I love you too. That shit's crazy. I feel like the gym high is like the same thing. I got a few deep quotes up there but I don't know. Like, Getting a good lift in definitely makes you feel good. But a good run is like, holy fuck. Like, I'm on crack right now. Like, I have to be like, this is crazy. My left forearm done as well. <clears throat> I got six roses and thorn vines wrapped Play with yourself, mine. it helps. No Damn, pain, jerk no off. I feel like that's not a bad, that's not a bad piece of advice, unless you get, like, addicted to it. Damn, do you think that's how people get addicted? That's exactly how people get addicted, huh? Like, the only vice in their life is just, like, that little ecstasy when they come, so they're, like, fucking jerking off all the time. Damn, that's sick. I'm down to... I was, uh, I was a masturbatory addict that one time for goddamn sure. Nah, I think I was just a horny little kid in high school, to be honest. I wasn't, like, addicted to jerking off. I was just, like, dude, coming's dope. <laughs> I was, like, 14, like, fuck yeah. Dude, he just made me pick up yeah. my guitar for like, the first nutty. time in months. Therapist headaches, but hell not, not nice, running in man. 25 degree NYC weather. Hey, man, you get a, you can get a treadmill. You know, is your, apart, is your apartment complex or, like, is your place or wherever you have a little treadmill? Maybe the garage. You can do something right there. Pick up the garage, or pick up the guitar, huh? That's fire, bro. That's a good talent to have, man. Being musically inclined, it's pretty fresh. I wish I was musically inclined. I am not, unfortunately. <clears throat> it's bullshit. I feel like I'm creative, but I can't just, like, put it down. Like, I got, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe I could just make, like, a beat, but I couldn't, like, I don't got the vocals, you know? I don't have the, I don't have the strings in here to make some music. But I have, like, the mind for it. Or, like, I can think of, like, a dope painting, but, like, I can't fucking put it down at Stop all. Or I, like, have, I'm like, good ideas for artists to, like... I'm like, yo, can I have, have like, a little Floyd painting? Tattoo or was chat fucking cabbing? Do you have a Pink Floyd tattoo? I don't think so. You're talking about, like, the pyramids, or you're talking about, About to like... get my driver license next week on Wednesday. And about to save up for a <clears> BMW <throat> 37 no, Wish good. me luck. About to get my driver's license next week on Wednesday? Hey, man. You a youngin' or you... I'm just gonna assume you're getting your license late. Because you know we don't like them younger than 18 in here. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for coming in with the motherfucking one. President, thanks for coming in with the one. What's up, Eric? I miss when you were showing your tattoos. I do not have a Pink Floyd tat, man. We'll see what's good. We'll see what's good. If you got the vision, do something, bro. Do bits for other people. True, man. I like that. Ha, 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 ha. I like that. President, thanks for coming in with the shit skis. Let's take a nice little... Damn, that was a nice joint, bro. That was a nice joint. I think we're just going to take one more dab and damn near head out of here. It's been a nice time. You guys are some homies getting my license, too. You young motherfuckers, man. God damn. Everyone's just... I remember that time. I never failed my test, thank God. But I did have to go like two or three times because I forgot a fucking paper every time. It was so annoying, bro. I think I had to go twice. Just because the first time, it was far, man. That shit was far from my house in high school. So I had to, like, drove all, or I didn't even drive all the way there. I think my folks drove there or some shit. Maybe I was practicing driving on the way there. Damn, bro, you gotta go 9 and 3. The parallel park. I did fuck up my parallel park the first time, and I was like, hey, can I just redo that? And he was like, for sure. <laughs> I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> this shit was funny, bro. I was like this far from the fucking curb. I was like, hey, my bad, bro. I was like, let me just try that again. <laughs> he was like, oh, Is that a Frigidaire dab fridge in the back cause I have the same one and if so, what do you have stocked <clears throat> up on? Um, it's not a dab fridge. It is a Amazon mini fridge that was like 20 bucks. It's honestly a piece of shit. It leaks all the time. It's fucking, it looks like ass. But, uh, what do we have in here? We got like six, seven grams of boom extracts, two grams of Kush Masters hash rosin. What hash is this? This is flour rosin, I think. Tropicana cookies, flour rosin. Neff solventless. We got an eighth of some Bahama Mama. Beautiful stuff. Good terps going on in there, man. Oh, we listened to that whole mix already. Damn. <laughs> all fucking sad and shit. Hey, how's that new Drake? Is it all right? It's probably fucking dope. I'm not gonna lie. I hate people that hate Drake. Those are the worst people that have like a superiority complex. They're like, bro, you like Drake? Like, you like? I'm like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, you know he's fresh as fuck. Like, that shit is annoying. They're like, bro, Drake is like overrated. Like, shut the fuck, bro. You know Drake is dope as fuck. Like, come on, man. T 
take care is that not one of the best albums of all time that's like bro, it's like in my top 10 for sure like top so fucking here. six Thanks maybe or something bro out, bang the videos and <coughs> drake's dope to enjoy. We appreciate See, you like, drake's lame like shut the fuck dude or like okay you could say that you don't like drake that's fine but like Drake sucks. They're like, what? That just that doesn't even make sense, bro. Guy literally does have more hits than the Beatles. Like, come on, dude. You can't even hate on that. You're just like, it reminds me of people that hated on Justin Bieber back in the day. They're like, bro, Justin Bieber sucks. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. You're just hating him because he's cute. <laughs> Y'all are haters. Y'all hating Drake because he's a little cutie pie, huh? Is that what it is, bro? Is that what's going on right now? <clears throat> come on, dude. Hey. Hey, come on, man. There's no need for all that. Come on. Ooh, sounds fucking nice. Hang on, this shit's not even playing right now. iTunes is playing around. Come on, dude. Come on, man. All right. Does it? iTunes doesn't want it to play, so fuck it. It's not a Drake kind of night. Hey, it just wasn't meant to be. I don't know what to say. Sorry, I was hyping it up. President next for one, David. It is not a Frigidaire dab. A Frigidaire dab fridge. I want to see what that is. Frigidaire refrigerator Ooh, bro it's 2 a.m nah just to be brain it bro j beebs is for sure the homie <clears throat> excuse me uh, excuse me again damn these expand damn these are expensive as fuck yeah bro this fridge was like 20 30 bucks hell no oh shit there is a richer one. Oh, it's mini oh they have one that's 30 bucks damn it's a little bit of a retro one this looks sick what this looks pretty dope man damn look at this shit that's pretty clean man i guess mine kind of does look like that this looks retro mine looks damn near the same on the inside that's super that's super gas bro that's super gas right there hell yeah some good shit <clears throat> dirk is mid Whoa. Yeah, I'd say there's like, he's not top shelf. There's like a few artists that are top shelf. Like, Drake's top shelf. Don't fucking cap on me. But you could, you could say Dirk is mid iron, whatever, man. It's whatever. That's the one I got. It's pretty good, but leaks a bit in the back. Fuck, right? Why do these mini fridges leak, bro? It's bullshit. It always happens for no reason. I don't know why. Some real, uh, some real ho shit right going on there, man. Let's take a nice little dab, and then we're gonna head out of here. I appreciate you being here. A Bud 2 box review? Bud 2? A Bud 2 box? What is this? Oh, don't even know what you're talking about. I googled it. Nothing came up. Ah, uh, David, good shit. Appreciate you, man. President, wub wub, fat dong. <laughs> fat dong. That's a good day right there, man. Um, hey, just wanted to say I'm gonna go to bed and I hope you have a great rest of your night. I love you, G. And if you want to check. What the fuck? I don't even know if we're live right now. I think my shit just fucking got. Hello? Are we back? I don't know. Confusing stuff going on. Hey, look at this lo fi mix that I found. That got suggested to me, bro. It's California Beach 80s and it's a vibe. Yo, what up, Eric? Hi, chat. What's the best sound? Through the panels and on the monitor. This is for sure something crazy, bro. It's a good time. Isn't that a fucking crazy time? Little Mike, yo, what up? What's the best soundproof panels and a good monitor? I do not have a single soundproof monitor, unfortunately. But, uh, a good monitor? I got some BenQs. Um, I have one BenQ and then one HP, actually. What the fuck? I have an HP monitor. I didn't know that. It's pretty cool, though. I like it. It's dope. It's a dope shit, man. <laughs> David, love you. Little Mike, thanks for the one, man. What the fuck, Google? Google's always tweaking, man. All right, are we back? Are we back? Do YouTube unsubscribe me from your channel? <laughs> Maybe it was just you, bro. And you just didn't know. All right, dab time. Dab time. GMO time. Piece, but I need something small and compact. But I hear bubblers are a bitch to clean, and I'm not gonna buy a spoon pipe. What do you suggest? 
Hmm. I would say like a hammer pipe. Probably a little bit easier to clean than a bubbler. Bubblers maybe are a little bit tough to clean, I think. I don't know. Bubblers aren't too hard to clean. But maybe like a hammer style bubbler. Look that up. Those are pretty decent. They give some nice hits too. Grab makes some that are pretty sick, man. I was, remember I was saving up always for like 40, 50 bucks to get one. I was like, damn, that'd be tough. YouTube be and I never get recommendations. Hey, man. Just classic YouTube shit. Always fucking me up. Fuck it. <laughs> damn, that'd be crazy. Bro, what if I just like... Dude, that'd be insane. I'm like, yep, see you guys later. <clears throat> Damn, wait. Love you too, what do you think Don't would happen if you dress. just like, just like right on your finger? Do you think it would melt? I think it would crisp, right? Hey, do you think your finger would melt or crisp? I don't think it's as hot. Oh, I think it is hot enough to melt your skin. Do you think I would just cook it? <laughs> it would be back. Damn, do you think it would be edible? Oh, fuck, bro. How good do you think fingers are? These are like majority bone, right? If I cut off my finger and cooked it, there's no way it'd be like that good. There's so many little bones in there and shit, that'd be disgusting. You could have to like suck it off or something. Hmm. What do you think human meat is like? Hey, is that weird? That's not that weird, bro. That's not that weird. Say it's chill, bro. Said put it down, crisp, but it would flake off. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Said yeah, it is. You tripping? That would be fire as fuck. <laughs> I think. Nah, I'm just really trying to think, like, are muscly? Do you like muscle or fat? Or like, I'm trying to think of a steak. I don't know even, I don't even know what parts I fucking eat of a steak, I, or of a cow. I eat like the whole thing, I'm pretty sure. But like, I don't know, do I like the muscly parts or do I like a fat cow? I guess like a, a breast, right? Like a, like a peck? You think, like... Do you like the stonk, Eric? I do like the stonk. I always like the stonks. Appreciate you saying thanks for coming in with the 10. You came in with two 10s. You didn't have to do that, man. He said, put this in stonks. I always like the stock. That is facts, man. That is facts. Fat is gross on its own. You put a little bit of fat on the steak, and it's pretty delicious, man. What's a... There's got to be, like... Is there neutral? If it's not muscle or fat, there's got to be something else, right? Just, like... Dude, listen. I'm not a anatomy or biology expert, okay? What the fuck is it? What else is in here, man? Like, what's right here? Bro, this would be a meaty-ass part. Look at that. This thumb, if you cut this off, that's like a fat drumstick. You can eat the shit out of that. This is like all meat. Dude, this is, a, I bet you a hand would be pretty damn good, man. If you just like, if I fucking, do you think I would fry it? Nah, I don't know. How the fuck would you eat a hand? Just like. Damn, what if I fucking become like a serial killer and this was like evidence against me or some shit and they're like, look at him, he was fucking talking about it. <laughs> That'd be crazy, bro. That would be crazy. You guys are seeing it in the making. You see a Netflix documentary on me later in like 20 years. They're like, yeah, he was a fucking maniac. He's a fucking killer, bro. He was just live streamed every day and then in the daytime just killed people. He was fucking insane. That'd be Wow. How many serial killers do you think you walk by? Like, every day. Or, like, how many people do you walk by do you think that have killed somebody? Damn. It's pretty intense stuff, man. I'd say, like, even military counts. Like, you definitely get PTSD from that shit. Dude, all those guys in the military are fucked up. They've seen and done some fucked up things for sure. So it's like... I bet you killing someone, like, fucks you up. Like, I bet you killing at least one person will, like... There's something that changes in your brain. Like, some wire gets connected or something where you're like, oh, you killed someone? Like, you fucking weirdo. Your brain's like, god damn. Like, you're really about that shit. It's like getting your Mangekyo Sharingan or something. Like, you know when someone dies and you just, like, unlock a new fucking thing in your brain? Like, I feel like that's the same thing. 
with like connecting some neurological pathway like when you kill someone you just like become different like you're a little weirdo I bet there's like no way you can hide that shit you know what I mean I bet you it just fucks you up a little bit <clears throat> an all nighter you say Blood to blood box is from Wait, this shit's still 800 degrees calm down we're all right we're all right favorite juice leak right now I actually don't know man I actually have no idea that's a good one, man. <clears throat> you really reheated that shit? You know what it is, man. And explain Ted Bundy. Bro, Ted Bundy was fucked up. That guy got, like, molested and shit, didn't he, when he was some younger? So it probably made sense. All serial killers have, like, some shit that went wrong with them. Are there any, like, completely normal ones? I guess, like, Steven Paddock, right? No one knew... Dude, that guy that did the Vegas one? I guess he wasn't, like, a traditional serial killer. He didn't, like, go face-to-face, -face, like, real psychological, like, dude... If you stab somebody to death, like, you gotta be fucking really mad or really fucked up in the head. That sounds intense, man. Stabbing someone? Shooting someone's different. It's like, pew pew. It's like, whatever. Stabbing, you're like, ah! <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Nah, I honestly didn't do much shit today besides finish that vid, and I finished it mega late, so I didn't even upload it, so I feel like I didn't even get much done today, so tomorrow, it's gonna be an early day, I'm going to, um, do a lot of shit, hopefully, man, I got a lot of shit to do tomorrow, so hopefully we'll be alright, a little Friday action to get a lot of shit done, man, so I think it's just gonna be, uh, uh, this is gonna be it for me. I'm gonna hit the hay here real soon. Nuclear, thanks for coming out with the one tail channel point online. I know you're not doing shit tomorrow, little JK JK. Hey, I love you. Uh, I'm doing some shit tomorrow, man. We got some shit. Fabian, thanks for coming in with the three. Bud to Bud Box from everything 420. It's your favorite juice league right now. Uh, this music ain't a vibe, Eric. Come on, dude. Look at that. Look at the vibes. How is this not a vibe? Come on, what else do we got? California Beach 80s, look at the pic. Funky, bro. Damn, you just gotta put yourself in the pod. It's crazy, bro. 80s? This was when LA was popping, popping. Crime was up, but people were chilling. Hey, 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 hey. DJ Houseplants? <laughs> That's a name right there. She's got some fucking calves on her, bro. You squeeze the shit out of me. That's for goddamn sure. That's for goddamn sure. Lo-fi house mix. The stoner house edition. <laughs> smells fucking weird. Hey, what's a gas leak smell like? Bro, what in the fuck? I guess my window's open, so maybe I'm just smelling the outside. What time is it? 3 a.m.? Bro. Smell is fucking strange. Good stuff going on right there. 
Doesn't smell like gas. I don't think. Bro. The fuck? Shit gonna explode? Oh my god. Crazy stuff. Alright, I'll see you guys later, man. Enjoy this baby team. Have a fucking great night. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all have the best night of all time. Or the best morning for you guys overseas. I will see you for a new video tomorrow. It's all done and ready, baby. It's uh, a little bit of a King Pong.